the city of London has been shrouded in mystery for centuries. From serial killers to mysterious disappearances to ghost sightings, some of London's most famous enigmas are still talked about today. However, recent developments in science and technology have shed new light on the many unsolved crimes and riddles that have left experts stumped for decades and sometimes even centuries. Still, as more details are uncovered, even more questions follow. Can what really caused the Great Plague? During the 1660s, the Great Plague of London killed more than a quarter of the city's population in just 18 months. For centuries, experts believed that rats were responsible for the disease spreading so quickly, but recent DNA findings have shown that this isn't the case at all. In 2016, scientists from the Museum of London Archaeology and the Max Planck Institute in Germany examined 3,300 skeletons that were discovered in a burial ground near Liverpool Street. During their studies, they found a DNA from the Yersinia pestis bacterium was present in 42 of the skeletons, and further analyses will reveal more about why it spread the way it did. Nine was Walter Sickert really Jack the Ripper? Of all the greatest unsolved mysteries to come out of London, none are as well known as that of Jack the Ripper, who terrorized the streets of East London during the late 1800s. As a matter of fact, the killer has become so infamous over the years that there is now a Jack the Ripper museum in Whitecapel as well as a handful of tours to lead visitors around various Ripper-related crime scenes in East London. Eight is there really a monster in the River Thames? We've all heard of Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, but could there be a similar sea monster roaming around London's River Thames as well? In 2016, a tourist in London was riding the Emirates airline cable car near the O2 when he spotted something fishy in the water. He decided to pull out his phone and film what he saw. In the 30-second clip, viewers can see a mysterious dark mass with two humps emerging from the river's surface. To add even more mystery to the sighting, the day after the video was posted, another video was shared online showing a strange object near the Thames barrier. Seven Why was a Wallace buried at St Pancras? Experts have been stumped ever since the remains of a 4-meter long, 13 feet, Wallace were discovered underneath St Pancras Church in 2003. The nine bone fragments were found inside a coffin along with eight other human remains and three skulls, all of which were placed there sometime between 1822 and 1854. This isn't the only puzzling discovery of animal remains in a London grave. During a recent excavation at the Royal London Hospital, various animal parts, including the remains of a rabbit, cat, dog, horse, tortoise, and even two monkeys, were discovered alongside the many buried human remains found underneath the hospital. Six was Richard III wrongfully accused of murdering the princes in the tower, it was discussed in Shakespeare and even hinted at in recent seasons of Game of Thrones. But 
did Richard III really kill his nephews in order to secure his own place on the English throne? Experts think not. Some believe that the remains may have been of Anglo-Saxon origin, but because the Church of England and the Queen have turned down requests made by the Richard III Society to examine the remains, nothing can be proven either way. Furthermore, some claim that Richard III couldn't have been guilty of the crime, as he never publicized the prince's deaths or displayed their bodies in public. Five has Winston Churchill's ghost been spotted in the London Underground? Reports of ghostly sightings of former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill at various tube stations in London have been floating around since the 1980s, but a recent photograph has added more fuel to the fire. In 2016, a Welsh tourist named Craig Cooper snapped a photo of a strange ghostly figure which was standing behind him at the Queensway station. Because the bold apparition in the photograph looks so much like Churchill, some have claimed that it is the ghost of the wartime leader himself. Or is there really a vampire at Highgate Cemetery? Reports of a supposed Highgate vampire have terrified North Londoners since the 1970s, but recent sightings have suggested that the vampire may have returned to Highgate Cemetery. In 2016, a man claimed to have seen the vampire silently gliding through a locked gate in 1991 when he was on his way to work. The man, Declan Walsh, claimed the figure was over 183 centimeters, 62, in height and was wearing a long, black coat and a top hat. Some legends state that the vampire is a medieval nobleman who once practiced black magic in Romania, and after his body was brought to England in a coffin sometime during the 18th century. His spirit was awoken by modern-day Satanists visiting the cemetery. Three What Really Happened to Lord Lucan During the 1970s, the mystery surrounding the disappearance of Lord Lucan, as well as the death of his supposed victim, was huge news in the streets of London. After being accused of killing his children's nanny and attacking his own wife, Lord Lucan, Aka Richard John Bingham, 7th Earl of Lucan. seemed to disappear off the face of the earth, and not much was known about where he disappeared to, until now. To what were Anne Boleyn's last words, before she was executed, she's been painted as everything from a seductive, conniving manipulator to a loving mother and wife, and this confusion extends even to her last words. Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII and the mother of Queen Elizabeth I, was executed and beheaded at the Tower of London for high treason, adultery, and incest in 1536. Over the years, there have been varying reports of what Anne Boleyn said the moment before she died, which have left historians scratching their head for centuries.